discussion on left ventricular aneurysm seen on left ventriculogram and related coronary angiogram. This still picture from a left ventriculogram shows a bulge in the anterolateral region of the left ventricle in systole, suggestive of an aneurysm. Pigtail catheter used for left ventriculography is seen. A true aneurysm is composed of all three layers of the heart, namely endocardium, myocardium and pericardium. It has a wide neck and is very unlikely to rupture. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. In contrast, a pseudoaneurysm is a ventricular rupture sealed off by the pericardium. It has a narrow neck and has a high risk of secondary rupture. A true aneurysm can cause arrhythmias due to the viable tissue in the border zone with varying refractory periods which initiate re-entrant arrhythmias. Refractory heart failure may occur due to wasted systole, that is, a portion of the ventricular blood moves in and out of the aneurysm without being pumped out into the aorta. Huge left ventricular aneurysm with thrombus and calcification has been reported by the Augustine et al. The patient presented with chronic heart failure after a previous myocardial infarction. Echocardiogram and left ventriculogram confirmed a giant calcified androepical left ventricular aneurysm with very severe left ventricular systolic dysfunction. The patient received an implantable cardioverter defibrillator for primary prevention. Thromboembolism is another potential problem with left ventricular aneurysm containing thrombus. Left coronary angiogram showing near total occlusion of LAD. The region of the aneurysm is usually the territory of a poorly collateralized total or near total coronary occlusion. In this case, it is near total occlusion of the left anterior descending coronary artery beyond a major diagonal with faint anti-grade flow marked by blue arrows. Surgical repair of the aneurysm is done by left ventricular reconstruction. This is done after complete revascularization by coronary artery bypass grafting. Left internal mammary artery and if necessary saphenous vein grafts are used for complete revascularization. Mitral wall repair is also done along with if deemed necessary. Surgical left ventricular reconstruction is an optional procedure to improve the left ventricular volume and shape and possibly long term improvement in left ventricular function. The scar tissue is excluded in this open procedure. Though several studies have reported that surgical left ventricular reconstruction is safe and has favorable 5 year outcomes, the need is still being debated. Here are a couple of relevant journal references. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.